guys, I'm here again today with another all used up video for you. Um, I have a couple of products here that are very, very nearly used up and I'm going to talk about those first of all. And I'm going to talk about those in this video just so that I don't have to wait another day to make the video because I'm already, um, what is that noise? I'm filming in my conservatory and that's why you can hear every single noise from outside but I don't even know what that is, it must be like the bin men maybe, I don't know very loud. Um, anyway, the first ones are the shampoo and conditioner from James Brown and they are the deeply hydrate and to deeply hydrate and cleanse dry hair and enrich dry hair with a burst of nourishing moisture. So basically they are the ones that are formulated for dry hair. I bought these when it was three for two so I also bought the photo fabulous intense treatment. We'll talk about these first of all. I bought them when they were three for two. They're like eight pounds or something. They were seven or eight pounds, I'm sure. More expensive than I was used to spending on shampoo, um, or more money than I was used to spending on shampoo, for sure. And I was totally, totally unimpressed. So these are some things that I've pulled out of my cupboard recently because they need to be used up, but I don't think that they do much at all. Shampoo and conditioner, when I was using them, my hair was very, very dry. They're okay now, they'll do, but they don't do anything special. And um, when I really wanted them to do something special, they were probably less moisturising than a regular shampoo and conditioner that I'd been using from uh, the drugstore. So I wouldn't recommend these, especially for the price. Uh, but recently I've been using the shampoo, as normal, um, and then the conditioner I've been mixing with this, which is a Mop Extreme Protein. Mop is Modern Organic Products. I got this, I got a couple of them, and I got them in the sale. I think this was supposed to be like £12 or something crazy. I would never have spent £12 on this. But it's a protein treatment for damaged hair, um, and people were raving about it when I worked at Debenhams, and they had um, a few of them that, I don't know if they were going out of date or the product was changing packaging, but they used to have this little shelf of products that were very, very cheap compared to the normal prices. And this was like two pounds or something, plus then I got staff discount on top of that, so it was practically free. So I've been mixing this and the conditioner, and I've actually quite liked the way that they've been working together, but I've been using them then, I've been using them as a mask. In fact, after this video, I'm gonna go and wash my hair, put this on, and then I put on my um, Soap and Glory Turban, um, which is thin enough that it doesn't dry the stuff off, but it keeps it on my hair means that it doesn't kind of drip down my hair. I don't like wearing shower caps because they kind of leave this big imprint around my head. Um, so I'll use that and I will put on my turban. And oh my god, I don't like filming in here. There are like birds that walk on my head on the ceiling. Anyway, um, yeah, I use that and it leaves my hair feeling really, really nice. But my hair isn't as dry as it once was. So these products are okay now, but when my hair was really, really dry, they didn't do anything for me at all. So it's kind of swings and roundabouts. It's okay for my hair now, it's kind of normal, but that's not why I wanted them, so it's not awesome. I'm gonna talk about the James Brown Photo Fabulous since I mentioned it already. Um, it says, for glossy and moisturized hair, always be camera ready. Um, it does say that you can use it as a normal um, kind of conditioner treatment. It says, after shampooing, massage into the hair from root to tip. Leave for 30 seconds and rinse for twice as long as you would with a regular conditioner. It also says somewhere, for thirsty dry hair that lacks moisture, applies twice a week for a special treat. And somewhere, I don't know if I read this online, because I can't see it in the back of here, it said to use it as a treatment, like an overnight treatment. I've done it that way, I've done it as a normal conditioner. It doesn't even feel like I've conditioned my hair. I hate this product. Um, this was probably more expensive than the shampoo and conditioner, but again, it was three for two. Uh, this was the thing that I was really excited about using, but it was rubbish. I really would love to hear from you if you've tried this and liked it, because I hated it. didn't do anything at all, um, and even now, when my hair is much better conditioned, it still doesn't seem to do anything. It doesn't make my hair feel like it's got any conditioner on it at all. So, hated this, it was rubbish, um, wouldn't recommend buying it at all. Um, something else that I've used up recently is the Yogi Flow by Rituals. It's their um, shower gel. Lee really liked this because he liked how it came out with the little what's it. And I think that lots of different brands, even cheap brands, do this now. So I think I'm going to buy him some because he really liked the way that it came out. It smelled really nice, um, but I'm not into Rituals. It's a relatively expensive brand for body care products. And I've not tried anything that's kind of swayed me to want to spend um, more than kind of regular boots prices on um, toiletries from them. So although it smelled nice, I won't be repurchasing it. Um, this is something that I never think to talk about, but this nail polish remover is the same nail polish remover I've used for years. Uh, the nail polish remover acetone formula from Superdrug. 
it's just a regular nail polish remover it's not expensive it's nothing special but it does the job and it's the same one that I use all the time so I am always gravitate towards it I won't go into boots for some reason I will always go to buy the same one it's crazy um, makes no difference to me really does it but um, when I run out I always buy nail polish remover and cotton pads from Superdrug I don't know why because I hardly ever go into Superdrug anymore I generally am all about the boots points so it's odd but I will repurchase that the Lee Stafford Hair Growth Shampoo I finally finished. Um, I talked about this before when I mentioned the conditioner and the treatment in my last video, but I wasn't impressed with this. I love the smell, I love how it makes my hair smell, and it does linger, so if you don't like the smell, you won't like this. Um, but I don't think it really did anything hair growth wise. It didn't condition my hair, the whole, the whole kind of um, range didn't condition my hair, and it didn't make it feel any more special than anything else. I used to really like the hair mask from their, their uh, hair growth range but um, I don't know if they changed it or if my hair just kind of became immune to its special ways or whatever but I just I don't like it anymore and I didn't like the shampoo particularly. It was just a shampoo, it was didn't do anything bad but it didn't do anything good either. Um, this I've used up this week. Um, I've had this for ages and it came in a little gift set. I think Ella got it me for Mother's Day a year or so ago um, and it's the coconut Hmm. Um, the coconut scrub from the body shop. I would never buy a body scrub from the body shop because I don't like, you look at it and it looks like it hasn't got very much um, scrub in it. I know it's empty now but you can see the remnants. It looks like the little scrubby particles are really far apart in the cream but it's really really effective and I potentially would buy a body scrub from the body shop. Again, I'm not massive on the coconut smell because it's not, it's not coconut as I know it. It's, it kind of smells a little bit artificial. And I don't know if that's because I've had it for a while and it smells a bit different, but um, it's not as coconutty as I would want it to be. So this particular fragrance is not for me, but they do the shea butter, and you know I love the shea butter scent, so I probably would repurchase that one. Um, three little sachets I wanted to talk about. I never talk about sachets that I use up, and I also tried the, um, I don't know what it's called, Perfection Lumiere Chanel Foundation this month. I absolutely loved it. I'm seriously, seriously tempted to buy it. I think next time I'm in boots I'm going to ask for a sample in my shade because obviously it was a beige sample that I got out of a magazine. Um, but I, I really, really liked it. It didn't need any powder on top. It left me feeling kind of weightless and my whole face, just the finish was beautiful. So I'm seriously, seriously considering a Chanel foundation purchase which, which, which would be like a massive purchase for me but if you've tried it yourself and you really really like it then let me know and vice versa if you don't like it then leave me a comment um, these are from the comfort zone I think I got these in my Carmine box but I can't be sure um, and they are there was like a big um, box of sachets which I absolutely love the ones that I tried I think this was the vital leg um, de-age body cream and then the tranquility cream I also tried the cellulite treatment I don't know why that's not here that's the one that I really wanted to talk about the cellulite one was amazing, it like burned my skin and I know some of you will hate that, some of you will like, I've, I've read reviews of things and people are like, oh it was the most, most uncomfortable feeling, if it feels uncomfortable I feel like it's doing something, I want it to feel uncomfortable, I want to feel it working and it felt like, seriously, I wanted to claw my skin off, <laughs> but I, I think that it was doing something and I probably would buy it and um, if I was inclined to buy a cellulite treatment in the future I would probably go to the comfort zone for that one because it felt like it was doing something and that is my number one you know placebo or not felt like it and um, the vital legs was really nice that was cooling and um, the de-age body cream and the um, other one tranquility body cream felt nice but they were no better than a normal kind of drugstore body cream that I would buy um, last of all I have to talk about is the youth code from L'Oreal I've been using this for three or four months and I've not been using it sparingly at all there's a tiny tiny bit left actually at the bottom the problem I found with this is because it's got the pipette you can't you have to kind of pour it out when it gets to a certain stage probably about a quarter left you have to start pouring it out rather than using the pipette so although I like the pipette because it gives me exactly the amount that I need it's not ideal in this particular format and I think that the new youth code serums are in a pump so I don't know if that'll be better but we'll see I really really liked this as serum, it's not particularly moisturising, it soaks into your skin really, really quickly. It's kind of what I want because I want to be able to layer another moisturiser on it straight away. The Soap and Glory serum that I'm using at the moment feels really nice. The scent matches my night cream perfectly, so they go really nicely together. But I don't feel like I can put my moisturiser on immediately afterwards. I put on my serum, my eye cream, 
um, lip balm, whatever else I use, and then I go away, and just before bed, I'll come and put my um, night cream on when the serum's soaked in. So this was perfect because you could put it on immediately after, but um, it's quite expensive. It's £25 full price, but it's pretty much never full price. It's always on offer at £15 wherever you go. Um, and £15 I probably would repurchase it, but um, I'm going to try some more before I go back to the youth code. And the youth code also now does a luminizer. What was that noise? Anyway, um, the youth code also does like a, a new one anyway now, so I might try that. But um, they were my empties of the moment. There will be more videos coming because you've seen inside my cupboard. And if you haven't, I'll link a video response below so you can see it. Um, yeah, it, there's a lot of stuff I've got to use up, so there's going to be more empties videos coming your way. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please go subscribe. If you've tried any of these products and you feel differently or the same or whatever, uh, please leave me a comment because um, these things work differently for everybody. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.